everyone, I'm back with another edition of the Colouring Heaven magazine. This is the Fantasy Cats special with 40 designs from Jeff Haney. So the title, the cover, you know it's going to be all about cats. Now, being totally honest, I'm not a cat person in the slightest. I'm very much a dog person and um, I didn't expect to like this edition really. I didn't expect to get on with it, but it's so much fun. It's cats as you've never seen them before. So yeah, I'm really excited to show it to you. So we'll open it up and read a little bit about Jeff. So it says that Jeff lives with his wife in Seattle, USA and has been a professional artist, illustrator and teacher for over 35 years. He's worked on games such as Medal of Honor, Need for Speed and Toy Soldiers for DreamWorks, as well as for Disney, Pixar, Warner Brothers, American Airlines and Pepsi. Wow. He now spends most of his time painting images of the world inspired by his many cats developing a strong influence in Art Nouveau and classic realism. So there you go, that's a bit about Jeff. So obviously he really loves his cats and that's why his edition is all about these beautiful felines that he has created. Now just looking at the first illustration, I think you can see what I mean by this not being your normal cat book. This guy is very much a steampunk inspired cat. I love the goggles, I love the hat, I love the metal keys and the pipes and the smoke and all that steampunk flavour that you see on this particular illustration. And you can see there's some really, really funny little bits that you don't actually see when you first look at them. I've got blooming masonry paint on me. Why is it every time I do a review, I seem to have paint all over me? Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> as you look at each illustration, you can see lots of little elements that you don't necessarily see when you first look at it. There's a little creature down here just poking through. Um, you can see it's got a treat-o-matic machine over here. Very, again, very steampunk, very industrial. And it seems as though that is just going to give you a treat every time you push it. Um, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. We've got a mouse up here playing a one-man band. Um, yeah, lots and lots going on. So this next cat, this is obviously set at night time. We've got the moon and stars in the background. We've got some fish floating around. So it's very much kind of surrealist. Um, and I'm loving these little cuffs that he's wearing. So yeah, it, it look at this like kind of opulent headdress, like all of this um, jewelry decorating and adorning him. It's very much different to just a book full of cats, like I said. And I'm loving the eyes as well. They seem to have this kind of geometrical pattern within the eyes and it gives them just a little bit more flair. So this one's lovely. We've got a little bit of, um, I don't know if it's a poem or a little story next to the cat. And as you can see, he's looking very, very happy and content. And we have a few little creatures in the background, again, with that sort of zentangly pattern going on. So lots of patination and detail. So this cat seems to be holding one of the fish uh, guess he's making his dinner. He's got loads of candles down here, dripping wax, and he kind of looks a little bit like um, a magician or even some kind of ritual sacrifice of this fish. He's got a cape on, uh, and it looks very, I don't know, it's just got that feeling to it. Also, you'll see there are little hidden um, cats and different creatures within the picture. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a tiny little cat head hidden within this um, kind of headdress background that he's got going on. So here we obviously have a Viking warrior inspired cat uh, on the battlefield. Again, loads of different things that you don't see when you first look, but we've got little mice in armor. And again, with the fish, it's kind of very uh, much a reoccur reoccurring theme of fish. And then the next one is the same illustration, but done in a more artsy grayscale style. So really it's up to you. I actually prefer this one. Um, yeah, I really like how it's been shaded. It is quite dark, so, I'm not going to say it's perfect as a colouring page, but I'm sure, you know, the amazing colourists out there will make it work. So this one, again, it, very similar to, I think it was the second one that we saw. You've got the cat in this regal pose and the fish floating around. This one is a horizontally um, formatted one. So you can see, again, it's that cat that's holding the fish. I don't know where it's meant to be the same cat or what, but yeah, it's, it's very, very sort of interesting how you're going to, how are you going to tackle these pages and you know I don't know whether I don't know whether they'd be better suited to something just very loose and watercolorish or something really hyper detailed but I think you could go, could go either way with these this one's lovely if you've ever had a cat that's passed away a family pet 
it's uh, it's almost like a little memorial emblem so you can see we've got the cat with the wings and it's saying i'll be with you always and some little charms on the bottom really really sweet will make a very nice memorial piece for somebody who's recently lost their little furry feline this one is so much fun you can see we've got the cat is sat in the spa or the tub it looks kind of like it'd be an outdoor spa we've got the tiles around the edge We've got the fish floating around, don't think they're going to last very long. We've got a little scuba diving mouse here with a little air tank on his back doing his nails, his, his uh, manicure. We have another diving mouse here. Um, obviously, you've got your rubber duck, got to have the rubber duck. We've got a, a shrimp prawn cocktail going on. Uh, there's waiters in the background and also other people enjoying their spa day. Loving this little mouse waiter bringing the bubbly. So yeah, again, just super fun. And obviously you've got to mention the little cucumber things on the eyes. So he's having a very, very relaxing day there. This one very much reminds me of Puss in Boots from Shrek, of course. And uh, I think you'll agree, we've got the very sharp, dapper moustache, the hat, the sword, um, and obviously the costume as well. And again, we have a grayscale image of that, which again, I really, really like. So yeah. I also love the little mice. They're absolutely everywhere. You wouldn't think that they'd last very long, but the best thing about this to me is this mouse's t-shirt. It says, real mice love cats. <laughs> so back to the line art. We've got a few cats on this one. It looks almost like they're having some kind of scrap. <laughs> you know, when you see those big clouds of um, fights going on in cartoons, but I don't think they are. It's uh, three different cats and it looks like, it looks like they're actually mermaid type cats or fish type cats this is so odd i only just realized that so they all have like a mermaid tail with scales and obviously it's underwater again you can see that there are little seahorses and even mice fish as well so so surrealist uh, another one that's this way round. So this cat is hugging his little fish friend. I don't think they have them for dinner, to be honest. I think they're just besties. Um, and yeah, just snuggling up. It says, be mine, love. So <laughs> quite odd, but kind of funny in a way. Um, this next one looks very much like a feral cat. Um, but as I'm looking at it more and more, it's reminding me of the Michael Jackson thriller video. So it looks as if they are coming out of the ground as like zombie cats and zombie mice as well. We've got the moon in the background and some, some pattern over here. I suppose you could think it was trees or anything you want, but yeah, again, really fun. And it does take you a couple of seconds just to let your eyes adjust to what's going on on the picture um, and figure out what's going on. So we have what looks like cat royalty here is either a prince or a king. Um, obviously you've got beautiful crown and the scepter. And this could be the, the kitty queen. So again, we've got the crown, we've got the jewels, the gems. Um, yeah, beautiful. And there you are. So that is where she has been taken from. I guess this is the original illustration and this has been converted into line art. But then when you look at this, you can see a lot more detail in the background. So obviously cats were absolutely revered in ancient Egypt, uh, seen, as, seen as gods, I think, in ancient Egypt, if I'm right and uh, they were really, really well looked after and worshipped. So yeah, this really um, depicts that that period of time. This is, this is another one that looks like the cat scrapping and I think this time it, I might be right because it looks as though there are claws out everywhere. But we have a pirate cat with a patch over his eye and a sword. Um, I think the other cats are just, this one's giving himself a good groom. And as for the others, I think they're just having a jolly good time, but I wouldn't like to be in the middle of that, I tell you. So this is the one that you can see that I've started. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I really, really w wanted to put some colour down on these tiles. Um, I looked on Google, typed in Turkish tiles because that's what they reminded me of, and that's where I got the colours from. Now you might have seen this already if you joined my live stream a couple of nights ago because I coloured this with you guys and uh, had a lot of fun chatting. Don't normally do live streams, but it was loads and loads of fun, and we ended up doing tarot readings of all things. It was great, great fun. So yeah, I really, really like this one. I like the composition of it as well, how he's just peeping over the edge of the tiles at the fish. Again, are these fish friend or foe? I don't know. Uh, these kind of look like um, bookmarks in a way. They're too big to be bookmarks, but they, they're kind of oriented in that way. Um, you've got one that says hate meter and one that says love meter, but they both say love on the bottom. Um, and they let's read this down here. One of my cats 
the Howard stole my pen and changed my drawing, the little rascal. Can you help me find what he changed? Ah, uh, it's a spot the difference and I've just given you one right there. So there you go, I've helped you, I've given you a helping hand. So you have to spot the difference. I don't know how many differences there are. It's not, um, it's not written here, but yeah, that's a bit of fun. Um, okay, so this one, again, we've got a lovely snuggly cat all snuggled up with his fish friends and he looks like he's on a rug but it also could be some kind of an enemy an enemy that you know the uh, the things from finding nemo <laughs> the coral reef or whatever um you can tell i'm really really uh, knowledgeable about things like that um yeah so that's really cool this one's got a bit of a heavier line art and let me see so he's again it's that steampunk theme victorian costume um he's got the eyeglasses and the beautiful hat with all of the decoration on there. Um, again, so yeah, I think it's just another iteration of that steampunk cat. And here he is as the original. He's actually wearing a corset. He has a fan. Um, what else is going on? We've got some guys selling fish in the background. Uh, loads more detail on these ones than there is on the previous one with the line art. But yeah, cat wearing a corset. Did you ever think you would see that? Only here, guys. Right, so... Number 25 is a catfish again. So cat mermaid, catfish, whatever, whatever. Uh, play in the harp. So just serenading his little uh, marine life friends. Then we have the cat in the rain. So he's got his umbrella. The fish again are just flopping around everywhere. I don't think they're going to last very long if they don't get back into water. But uh, yeah, again, just another really fun image. So as I said at the start, it's just it's not just a book of cats, you know, just just different kinds of cats or cats just sitting around or batting little bits of wool or whatever. They, they've definitely got their own personality. So this one is great because it's all about coffee. I don't actually drink coffee, but I know that it, you know, wakes pretty much everyone up in the morning. Um, so it's great to see that you've got the cat here with his cup of coffee. It's, it's called Go Juice. And you can see that at the top, there is a coffee meter that says not enough. Oh yeah, too much. So again, lots of fun. This is Psycho Cat, <laughs> which actually might be my favourite out of the whole book because he really does look like some kind of demonically possessed feline. Um, but in the background, again, it's just patterns really. So the main sort of bit of the page is, of course, the cat. And then you can do whatever you want with the background. I don't feel like you would have to be proficient in fur to do this. I think this could be just taken anyway and just colour just put on there anywhere, um, you know, to, to really make it stand out. So we've got the cat with the masquerade mask and the fan again, um, kind of dressed up in this oldie worldy ballroom costume. And there he is, or her, there she is, uh, again with her fan. And you can see in the background we've got lots of other cats dancing. So this one has his sunglasses on. They're very, very cool sunglasses, kind of Dame Edna Everidge glasses. Um, and it looks to me like he's just chilling. But what is really kind of freaky about this is the dead, dismembered bug on the ground that I guess he's just finished playing with. So steampunk cat again, but this time he is in the air. He's got his jet pack. He's got his um, rocket boots. And uh, it's just it's just great. I love it. You can see the little mouse on the front with the steering wheel like he's actually steering the cat. We've got the wings on the hat um, and the sails and things. And it looks as if he's holding a sort of detonator button, which must be his his go button for his rocket fuel. But yeah, fantastic. This one is a little bit more of a traditional cat. So literally just lying down after his dinner, which you can see he's demolished. And another cat with the go juice. So if you are a coffee lover and a cat lover, you'll definitely love those two illustrations. This one is that pirate cat that we saw earlier on a bit of a bigger format. And I've got a feeling this one is going to be another grayscale behind it. And I'm correct. And I haven't actually looked, so it's not just me uh, pretending. So here you can see he's got the hook. Um, he's even wearing a ring, oddly enough. Uh, I don't know why the ring is the oddest thing about this whole get up, but yeah. Um, looks to me like he's got, it's kind of like Captain Jack Sparrow. He's got the beads hanging down from the hat and the wild kind of hair going on. So this is like a yoga cat. He's meditating or she, sorry, I keep saying he, uh, she's meditating and, uh, we've got the fish all around. We've got the little mice meditating, thinking about the cheese. So the cat's thinking about the fish, the mice are thinking about the cheese and he's even on a little fish rug or a yoga mat rather. 
This one's really cool again. So pumpkin, Halloween, the cat's little kittens peeking out from behind the pumpkin. So this would be a great one to do around that October time. Also would be great to practice an inward glow coming out of something. This is number 39 and it's that steampunk cat from earlier. We've got another little mouse um, operated plane in the background that says more cat treats. We've got the mice staring um, the way. And yeah, so it looks as if this time he's on some sort of flying skateboard, not skateboard, scooter, um, which is again, just incredible really. The imagination that's gone into these drawings. Um, and the final illustration is this very French looking cat with his quill, his beret. We've got the French menu in the background and the mice just having a little discussion. Um, and yeah, it just looks really fun. It's a cat cafe and we've got the little cat sign as well. So that is it. So yeah, honestly, I really thought, oh, cats, I'm not going to like this. But I do. I love it. I think it's so, so much fun. They've all got incredible amounts of personality and there's just loads and loads of different things to colour and find on each page so as usual all the links will be in the description for you to buy this from either your local uk supermarket and news agent or online and shipped wherever you want worldwide thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon on colour with claire